fire! Welcome! It's been a little while since I've done a video that's focused exclusively on my mini disc purchases. But I've got four here today. One of them has just arrived today, so that's going to be a little mail opening to do near the end. But I've got three others to show you that I've just not got round to showing on the channel yet. I do try and cover every music purchase that I've made, but some just get left by the wayside for one reason or another. And um, we'll get on with these mini disc purchases now. So I've got two of the newer mini discs. Those of you who are into like Bandcamp artists and labels will probably be familiar, and I've shown plenty of these on the channel in the past. And then afterwards, we've got two of the more traditional 1990s or early noughties mini discs. I think both of those I've got are from the 1990s though. So let's get on with some Bandcamp purchases. Now this one I think I got about six months ago and I've just been waiting to show it with some other mini discs so it's been sat around and um, it's not even been listened to yet. In fact I've got mini discs that I've covered in previous videos from the best part of a year ago that I've still not listened to. I was waiting for my eyesight to be improved and for me to have my operation and then I can actually properly enjoy not just the music because I can listen to that anyway but just enjoy the artwork and read the sleeve notes and everything which are very small on a mini disc as you'd understand this one I've not opened it yet it's still sealed it is from Time Slave Recordings on Bandcamp and it is Dream Utopia by Xenon now if my memory serves this is the second Xenon album I've got I've got Dark of a Distant World and I think I've got that on mini disc rather than vinyl I'm sure I got the original mini disc pressing of that but there is plenty of synthwave artists yeah this is a synthwave act by the way but I have got on vinyl as well so I do lose track a little bit this could be one of the most boring Bandcamp Time Slave sleeves I've got actually because it's very plain. It's just this white sphere here, what looks like, I don't know, a rover out the prisoner with um, kind of like a shooting star going through it. There won't be an awful lot to see if I did unseal it today, which I'm not going to. I'm not going to unseal this until I'm ready to play it and I will be ready to play all these soon. It's just, I've always got a backlog of music, not just on mini disc, but vinyl as well. I wanted to quickly show you that from six-ish months ago, Xenon and Dream Utopia, great act, and their album Dark of a Distant World was excellent. One of my all-time favorites in the synthwave genre, so I'm expecting good things from this. Here's one that came rather more recently. In fact, it came within this past week and it's an act who is really kind of at the elite level and well known in synthwave circles i'm talking about time cop 1983 and although this is the newest release of his on md this is running in the dark this is in fact a reissue which come out on mini disc for the first time in 2022 but um the original it was like an extended ep or a mini album was originally out i'm not sure but it was a few years ago it's a new release but it's also a re-release and um, i think these sold out pretty quick because time cop 1983 is one of the more popular synthwave artists and i wanted to get in there and make sure i placed my order for this I think this also came out on vinyl and cassette at the same time as this mini disc, but I do like to get Synthwave on MD, I don't know why. Kind of your standard sort of Stranger Things-esque Time Cop 1983 sleeve here. I do like his logo. Yeah, Running in the Dark, love Time Cop 1983. Could recommend his music all day long. Like I say, with him and with Xanon as well, these are still available to listen to digitally on Bandcamp and they'll be available probably on all the major streaming services as well. So it's not like you have to buy physical media to listen to these. I just like to buy physical media and I do love mini disc. So there's the two Time Slaves recordings, Bandcamp Indie MDs. I've got two traditional 1990s Sony pressing plant mini discs to show you now. And the first one, I've just completely ignored it, even when I've shown mini discs in previous videos, because it kind of didn't really fit with the theme of the videos. And it's something I've had now, I think when I checked my Discogs collection database, it said I'd had this for about 10 months, which sounds about right. It could be give or take a month or so, but the best part of a year. And it's an artist who, for some reason, well, I know the reason, it's because most of his albums on MD have been pretty cheap. I was never a fan particularly, but I think he's a bit maligned really. I'm talking about Ricky Martin. Yes, it's another Ricky Martin album finally on this channel. And this is his Spanish language album 
Vuelve. I'm probably butchering that. I do apologise to any Spanish viewers. Nice big bold hype sticker on here. So this was a Spanish album that came out. I think it's going to be 1998. Yeah, it will be because it's got La Copa de la Vida on it, which is the official France 98 World Cup theme. And it's got that twice on this album. It's got the Spanish version and the Spanglish i.e. mixed Spanish and English version which I think certainly us in English speaking territories would be more familiar with that I think arguably that would have been Ricky Martin's breakthrough hit I think I've got that on another album probably his 99 self-titled album as well as far as I know I think I've got all of Ricky Martin's albums that were out on MD on MD now I was never much of a fan although I kind of liked a couple of his singles back in the late 90s early noughties and I have got those now physically you know having built up a little bit of a Ricky Martin collection not the coolest artist I wouldn't particularly be standing up and being so proud to announce that I'm a Ricky Martin collector but because it was almost a year ago when I bought it I can't remember how much it'll have been but it will have been well under 20 pound maybe even under 15 with postage because I do like to buy whatever mini discs I can lay my hands on that are cheap. If it's artists that I like, that's a bonus, but I have got a few in my collection that I normally wouldn't have touched with a barge pole. But I've listened to all my Ricky Martin stuff, and not all of it's absolutely brilliant, but I think he's all right. When I listened to it, it was decent. And the majority of this, almost all of it, in fact, is in the Spanish language, but that doesn't bother me. I listen to a lot of foreign language music as well, notably Rammstein, who more often than not perform in German. There we are, he's been waiting 10 months or more to be shown on the channel, but The Elf by Ricky Martin. Right then, final mini disc to show you is a brand new purchase on eBay. This one has just arrived today. Price, pretty good I think including a little bit in postage it was about 19 pound and a few pence and it was an auction win as well there was one other bidder and i did bid a little bit higher than what i may wanted to have bought it but fortunately i didn't get pushed up to that maximum it stayed at around a sort of 16 17 pound mark and then as i say with the postage as well this came out to just over 19 but i'm delighted that i've got this because this completes a certain mini disc collection for me. It's the Lightning Seed studio album, Tilt, from, I believe, 1999. And I've got the other three Lightning Seeds albums on mini disc that are available on mini disc. They've released other albums, obviously, but not on the MD format. Uh, there'll be Jollification, Dizzy Heights, and the Like You Do compilation. So this was the one remaining piece of the puzzle, Tilt. I think the only thing I've heard on this is the opening track and the lead single, Life's Too Short. It may be other things that I would have heard, maybe by accident or on telly or something. I won't know until I've listened to the album, but I'm just happy that I've completed the Lightning Seeds mini disc collection with this. We'll get it out for a little bit of a look, mainly to inspect the case as the case, yeah, it's the usual case on the pun with these MD cases just comes right off at the hinges but that don't bother me massively because as you see it just fits back together nicely and then I display it in like a cassette rack yes cassette racks are pretty good for displaying mini discs they stick out a little bit but it doesn't matter they also look nice and neat and I can replace these cases with newer ones if I need to anyway at some point but tilt on MD. I do like the Lightning Seas. I've liked them since I was a teenager as well. So it's nice to get a mini disc of a band that I am actually a fan of. I'd almost purchased this before. Um, I think I'd missed out on one or two auctions on eBay over the past few years, but finally won one and there we have it. So that was my mini disc update of a fashion for you today. There is still mini discs that I look out for. Nothing that I'm absolutely desperate to add to the collection, but um, you never know. Certainly in the DIY indie vein, as um, Time Slaves are often releasing interesting stuff on MD. But as for the originals, like Lightning Seeds and Ricky Martin, they're becoming a bit more rare now, as there's not many that I get desperate to buy. But if I see a bargain, like I say, it doesn't even have to be an artist I particularly like, but if I see a bargain out there, I will snap it up and I will show you. But thank you all for watching. I want to say special thanks, as always, to my subscribers and my wonderful patrons. My Patreon link, Facebook group link, and a link for Urban Jungle Contents Insurance 
is down in the description text box. I'm going to go now, and I think it's got to be Lightning Seeds to Tilt that I listen to first. A, because I'm just excited to hear the album finally after all these years, and B, I've still got a big pile of Synthwave MDs that haven't even been opened yet, and I'll get round to all those probably in some sort of major Synthwave session at Shea Jimbo at some point in the near future. And I do hope that all of you will join me at some point in the near future for my next mini disc collecting video. Cheers, everyone. See ya!